This is the banana. What else could you call anything that's, that's long and yellow and has black stripes? Built by Don Harsey of Athens, Ohio, the banana is an elongated bicycle frame covered with a bullet-shaped fiberboard skin. It's a human-powered vehicle, Harsey explains, and it's the way of the future. Human-powered transportation is going to have to be the way we go. We are really going to run out of fossil fuels eventually. Harsey is on his way to Vancouver for an exposition on human-powered transportation. It's a shakedown cruise for the machine he designed and built this year. He's been averaging 100 miles a day since leaving Ohio on July 2nd, and he figures to be in Vancouver by the end of August. Harsey says he considers himself a modern-day barnstormer. And I think that human-powered transportation is probably in about the same stage that uh, that aircraft transportation was in when Lindbergh was, uh, was flying around. Harsey cruises at about 20 miles an hour, which is great on the flat stretches, but difficult to maintain on the hills. That's why he's working on a new feature for his machine, solar power. I'm counting on the solar power to get me up the hills and make up for the extra weight of the fairing later on. But that innovation won't be added until next year. For now, it's miles of constant pedaling down long stretches of road in a yellow and black machine called the banana. Hey, where can I get some water? Keith Darnay reporting.